story of what happened to Grandpapa. He would tell me the story of how Mr. Eton from the Eton Company ruined his life. Instead of sending him the red, white and blue costume of the Montreal Canadian, he sent my grandpapa the blue and white sweater of the Toronto Maple Leaf. Even though it was eaten by moth, it made me feel angry toward Mr. Eaton. It was my dear grandpapa who gave me my Montreal Canadian sweater with the famous number 9 on the back. My grandpapa told me how to comb my hair like Maurice Richard and I still use the same kind of glue he gave me to keep it in place. He instructed me how to lace my skates like Maurice Richard. He showed me how to tape my stick like Maurice Richard. And he taught me everything there was to know about Maurice Richard. In my town, we all wore the same costume as Maurice Richard. We were all Maurice Richards, playing with the same burning enthusiasm. One day, I noticed that my sweater was too small for me. So I did what I always did whenever I needed clothes. I started to look through the eBay online catalog, which always has the latest style. I search and search for a Maurice Richard sweater. And just when I was about to log off, I saw it. There was a man from Nigeria who had the number 9 costume and was selling it for only $2.50. I needed that jersey so bad, so I sent the seller an email and said, Dear Mr. Modu19, I am sending you $3 for the Montreal Canadian number 9 sweater you have. Could you please end the auction early and send me any change if there is any? Mr. Modu19 answered my email and Two weeks after I wrote him, I received the sweater. It was one of the greatest disappointments of my life. Instead of the red, white and blue Montreal Canadian sweater, Mr. Modu19 had sent the blue and white sweater of the Toronto Maple Leaf. I had always worn the red, white and blue sweater of the Montreal Canadian. All my friend had wore the red, white and blue sweater and I can't believe that the same thing that happened to my grandpapa was happening to me. With the tears in my eyes, I summoned up the strength to email Mr. Modu19 and say I never wear that uniform! He wrote me back and say, If you make up your mind about something before you try it, my boy, you won't go very far in this life. I was crying! I had no choice 
but to wear the Toronto Maple Leaf sweater. When I arrive at the skating rink in my blue sweater, all the Maurice Richards in red, white, and blue would not let me play in their game. Even when one of the defensemen was bertuzied and taken off the ice, I thought my moment had come, but still they would not let me play. It was too much. It was too unfair. This is persecution. It is just because of my blue sweater. And out of spite, I crash my stick against the ice so hard that it broke. Suddenly, all the other Maurice Richards skate away in distress. At first, I thought that it was because of my intense rage. But when I look behind me, I saw, standing there, the captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs number 13, Matt Sundin. He had come to defend the honor of the Toronto Maple Leaf. I was so thankful that Matt Sundin had come to my rescue that I started to do everything the same as Matt Sundin. I shave my head like Matt Sundin. I lace my skates like Matt Sundin. I tip my stick like Matt Sundin. And I learn everything there was to know about the captain of the Toronto Maple Leaf, Matt Sundin.